This coffee table is insanely white. It hurts my eyes to look at. I'm gonna use a few bucks of epoxy, coat this table, and it's gonna look super sweet. I'm gonna show you how to properly prep this smooth surface for stone coat epoxy. And then the epoxy that's self-leveling over will look nice and uniform. Ooh, that is looking great. The cost of lumber right now is through the roof. It's up over 250% in my area alone. Save the money and time demoing the countertops and buying new wood and renew your existing surfaces with Stone Coat Epoxy. It's really simple. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Stay tuned, folks, and enjoy the video. I'm not too sure this is gonna turn out the way I think. This coffee table is more white than the wind-driven snow, and I'm gonna make it pop with about 10 bucks worth of epoxy. This is a smooth laminate surface, just like many of your kitchens. If you're interested in coating over your existing surface, I'm gonna show you right now how to properly prep your existing smooth surfaces for epoxy. Guys, I'm giving this coffee table away to one of our subscribers. Subscribe right now to qualify. If you're already a subscriber, no need to unsubscribe. Just comment below how long you've been watching to qualify. Don't forget to ring that bell to get notified of all our new videos. Now back to the video. This is a brand new coffee table, so I'm going to skip step one, which is heavily cleaning your existing surface with TSP. Try sodium phosphate, which is a degreaser. It gets rid of all that grease and grime. Then we're gonna rough up the surface and edges with 60 to 100 grit sandpaper. If your countertop's on site or your table has sharp 90 degree corners, you're gonna wanna round that. You can use a router or you can use a sander. I'm gonna show you how to easily do it with a hand sander. Move your sander back and forth while rotating from the surface to the edges to round over the sharp 90 degree laminate edge. This can easily be done on site. My edges are rounded. The smooth, glossy surfaces have been roughed up with 100 grit sandpaper. Now I'm going to apply a thin coat of our bonding primer. The bonding primer is crucial and only necessary when going over smooth, slick surfaces. If you're going over MDF, plywood, or any other wood, no bonding primer is needed. A thin, even coat of the bonding primer is all that's necessary, and one coat is all that's needed. The bonding primer is nice and dry. It's time to apply your undercoat. I'm gonna go with white, and you're gonna wanna go two coats, letting it dry in between coats, and lightly sanding with 220 grit before your second coat. That was easy. I'm gonna let that dry, come back for coat number two. Lightly sand with 220 and apply coat number two. My super smooth, bright white laminate coffee table is ready for epoxy. Today I'll be mixing up some of our stone coat metallic powders and epoxy dyes to create an exotic pour. Pour it right out over this project. It's gonna take me minutes. It's super simple and no skills are necessary. And remember, you could do this same process right over your existing surface. Just follow those prep steps. That bonding primer is a crucial step in great adhesion for that epoxy layer. First step, I'm gonna tape the perimeter of this project. That really keeps your color techniques right where you leave them. For this project, I'm using Stone Coat Countertop Epoxy. It's a one-to-one -one ratio epoxy that you mix for two minutes, pour in part B first. We're gonna use about eight to 10 bucks worth of epoxy. We like to use a drill with a paddle mixer to mix the epoxy, hanging onto that bucket so it doesn't spin. You can also mix by hand using a paint stick, just double your mixing time. Divide this mixed epoxy into separate mixing cups. We're gonna tint this epoxy individually and then apply it all back into this bucket. Pour it out, game over, countertops complete. White dye, white metallic. Molten gold. I'm excited to see how this looks in this exotic pour. Ooh. Mixing is really easy. I like to use popsicle sticks, but you can use anything pretty much to mix the additives into the epoxy. These additives were designed for stone coat epoxy. They mix super easily, they're color fast. 
and they're very vivid when you pour them out onto your countertops, woodworking projects, floors, or art. You can find all the products we used over at Stone Coat Countertops. Check out the Epoxy Color Center. We have hundreds of epoxy additives and there's sure to be a few that tickle your fancy. All my colors have been tinted. Now we're gonna apply all these tinted colors back into the large mixing bucket. Randomly apply the tinted epoxy back into your bucket. All my epoxy is pretty much back in this larger mixing bucket. This is a wild looking exotic pour. I'm really anxious to see how it turns out. I think it's gonna be awesome. So now in any pattern you wish, pour out that exotic pour. Wow. I'm gonna use a heat gun to remove any of the air I incorporated into this epoxy while mixing and stirring. It's really easy, just put your heat gun on high and in a sweeping motion, hit that epoxy. For quicker, more efficient bubble release, we like to use a propane torch. I'm not gonna touch this piece. I'm gonna let it self-level out perfectly smooth as glass. There's some voids where there's no epoxy, but this product will continue to self-level. You do not need to be in a hurry once you mix it. That is a great aspect about Stone Coat Countertop Epoxy. It is perfect for the first time DIY user. You can sit back, watch the self-level, touch it, move it, meld it, whatever you wish. But the key factor is, I'm not panicking. Cool. I'm gonna come back in about an hour to two hours and peel that tape, let the epoxy flow over the edges. By that point, the epoxy will be thicker. This color technique is gonna sit right where I leave it. It's been about an hour and a half. This epoxy's getting thicker. I'm gonna peel this tape. A pro tip to success when peeling your tape is peel from the top down and pull away from that top edge. That'll encourage the epoxy to flow over nice and uniform. If there's any dry spots, use your gloved hand, break up any surface area, make those dry spots wet. The epoxy will flow over perfectly. As the epoxy starts to flow over these edges, take your gloved hand and just rub that on there. Break up any dry areas, and then the epoxy that's self-leveling over will look nice and uniform. Ooh, that is looking great. I'm absolutely pumped with how this turned out. I paid 30 bucks for this table and all it was was pure white. It was blinding white. I think it looks a thousand times better. I bet I can make a serious profit throwing this on the online marketplace. That's my favorite part. This project turned out sweet. That was fast and easy. I'm gonna let this cure overnight. It'll be dry the next day. Guys, thanks for watching from Stone Coat Countertops. Remember, you got this and we'll see you on the next video.